So there's a lot of good stuff with the true patch. I mean, there's the change to consecutive harvest and just like, you know, a bunch of bug fixes, the population resets, getting rid of the thousand diamonds, all of that. But the thing that I think I was looking forward to most was just getting back to multiplayer because like I pretty much avoided multiplayer ever since, I don't know, Yukon, basically. I played some Yukon multiplayer, but the, uh, the thousand scoring diamonds, the ones going way over a thousand, uh, that kind of kept me out of multiplayer for the better part of, like, close to two months. So it's nice to be back, because just like, obviously I always say, like, you don't hunt the same spots as the host, so there could be diamonds waiting in the spots you go every day on your own map. But the other thing is, like, because you don't control the time, at least if you're trying to hunt, like, zones specifically, you kind of end up hunting areas that maybe you wouldn't otherwise, and there might be diamonds hiding there, too, so... Literally just starting off here in Renaki, I think this is going to be like a 920s moose, and we don't even need a can check because that's no longer a thing. Yeah, 923. Not bad. And I actually joined the server at like the perfect time because it's just starting whitetail drink time, and it was end of moose drink time, so that one we just shot would have been out of there pretty quickly. But I think that's a pretty nice buck. We'll send a shot his way and... I think we'll be good. I wonder how we got high bleed rate, because I thought I was shooting single lung there. I got the liver. And he's a 918, so... That's a heck of a start. This reset probably, uh... Helping that out a little, but we'll take that any day. Nothing huge here, but that guy's max weight. I think we'll just throw a shot at him. I thought I hit low there for a second, but... Looks like we just got a single lung. Man, it's just nice being able to play multiplayer again like I've really missed it this was where I did so much of like my my grinding for diamonds and everything just because like I guess it's that mystery of you don't know what's around the next corner because obviously you've never been there but also I think there's almost like a I don't know a sense of urgency especially again you don't control the time so you will want to try to check all the good spots before the next animals move into their zones and just in general like you don't get to just go back on the map if you can't find stuff. I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm glad to be able to play it again and not have to worry about bug diamonds and such. We actually lost quick kill. I mean, it was 230 meters, so I guess we shouldn't be too surprised, but I don't think I'm wearing a backpack. I'm noticing animals do seem to be going alert a little further away. Maybe that's just me, though. That's a little better than what I was going to shoot. I was just thinking, like, there's some whitetail here, but there's nothing very big. And I want to probably go see if I can find another server that's either earlier or later. So just to maybe catch more blacktail and elk out and about. That should be a gold den at uh, level 4. Okay, I don't know how that's 880 exactly. I don't even know if that fits with the weight, to be honest. He really doesn't look it. I don't know, but I'm going to join another server anyway, so... Hopefully that's not some other kind of true rat glitch. I don't think it is. That's a wonky looking elk. I don't know why he's resting. Maybe the uh, the host changed the time right before I got here. Because it's 8 a.m. So in theory they should be drinking right now. I actually just want to check. That's, yeah, that's way earlier. So he must have just changed the time. That guy's coming probably out of the zone to drink. I want to shoot that just purely because he looks really, really weird. Hello? Were you? No, there's more over there, too. Nothing too impressive looking. I think in that case, I still want to shoot that one that's laying up on the hill. We'll actually get him before he moves then, too. So I'm hoping that guy, like lung and something else I think it's just single lung though yeah lost him a quick kill made him a silver I honestly thought he was bigger than he is he's only 430 kilos so barely into gold range anyway but it is elk time as I said so I want to hit a couple of like elk and blacktail spots there's a better one I wonder if he's the one the warning called when I came down here because I wouldn't have thought he actually would have when he took off, but, uh, if he did, he shouldn't be going too much further, in which case we're going to try to smoke him anyway. 
Just push that one out of your way. Don't even worry about it. There you go. Yeah, that angle's a little bit rough. Oh, well. I think we'll be all right. Either got double lung or liver. So there was also a buck that warning called, and I never saw him go over here, and they should have gone the same way. I don't know where he got to. Are my tracks off? No. That's been a bug that's been kind of happening, like, even before this patch. But there was all those elk over here. That's an 898. Not bad. Got a lot of really quality animals, but, um... Yeah, there, there's no sign of any tracks here. That's kind of odd. Anyway, I want to get over this hill real quick, go check this lake, and then I think we should have just enough time to fast travel here. And that's a uh, elk and blacktail hotspot as well. That's a weird one. I, uh... I didn't check the other spot out really closely, because we're getting quite close to the end of their time, and there was not much of anything there, if there were any animals, so... I thought we'd just come over here, because it's always a good spot. But I like that rack, so... We'll take that. I really like this, uh... This particular blacktail shape. I've seen it on both antlers, where they have just, like, way more mass and no points. That's one of my favorites, but he's really cool, the fact that he's, uh completely asymmetrical and then he's actually a gold as well so that's pretty neat uh as far as the elk not looking very impressive from what i can see there was somewhere when i was running over here that guy he's decent eh one not bad elk we'll take that though we'll take the uh the black tail since he goes to max estimate might have been a little low now nah, i think we're good I haven't shot the Mosin at 300 meters in a while, so that's good to see it still is uh, insane. I'm actually curious what he's going to score, because he should be bigger. And he's actually a little bit smaller than the other one. That's really odd. He does have a lower trophy rating and a lower weight, so I guess it makes sense, but he's just got what I would think would be higher scoring antlers, so I don't know. Okay, so last server I have time for, and it's actually earlier than the last one. It's 640, so we have plenty of time to kind of hit elk and blacktail spots again because i kind of thought we'd just let whatever the uh the in-game time is dictate what we hunt rather than looking for a server for like something specific so i'm not seeing anything here it could also be like like the last server maybe the time just got changed oh there we go decent blacktail that i definitely almost spooked he's another weird one and i'd really prefer not to go for that frontal shot with the mosin it's actually not fleeing. There you go. Finally cooperating. That's actually a, a pretty nice picture. Got to get background to it. I wish that bush wasn't there, because then you'd have a really, really open background, but I can't really control where he lands, so... That's our best blacktail so far this hunt. 894. I actually thought he'd make 900, because he was his max weight estimate, but he's just barely into that. Well... I wasn't really planning on ending just yet, but apparently it's time for my neighbor to mow the grass. So, uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but I think it's about time we wrap up. So, I'm going to try to get this guy with, I think, what actually ended up being a 30-06 next shot. I shot a little high there, but, um, to be honest, it's been a pretty good hunt. I mean, we've had two over 900, a couple near 900, and it's just nice to be playing multiplayer again. Like, single player gets boring. It's so nice to have it back and actually not have to worry about all the, the broken stuff. So there's definitely going to be a lot more of uh, just generally hunting multiplayer in videos again. Because I've just missed it. So ending with a gold. Actually 826? I think I was wrong about that 430 weight earlier. I didn't... Hmm. I don't think 416 used to be a gold weight. I don't really know. I haven't paid a ton of, ton of attention to uh, Elk True Rex. But that was the next shot. Anyway, I was thinking while I was running over here, that's actually going to be something I can definitely start grinding for a diamond grizzly bear again, because the caribou were one of the biggest things that were glitched. So I pretty much didn't even touch Yukon, even though I could have hunted just grizzly bear. So that's something I expect to be doing. But anyway, I think we're going to wrap this up. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.